I guess we stopped growing up together. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Boys, I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. These bills should all just say, Dear sir, you are screwed. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. So Chloe has her own photo album. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. 
We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William... I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe. I am never leaving you again. I'm sorry, William. Someone left out. 